If you're looking for good summer reads, be sure to check out the online bookstore of absolutely amazing ebooks. In the store, you'll find everything from mysteries to thrillers to pulp classics and so much more. This morning, I'm going to be talking with one of the authors associated with absolutely amazing ebooks. It is crime fiction writer Mike Dennis. Mike, thank you for being back on the show today. Thank you for ha having me, Jenna. It's a great pleasure to be here. Now, Mike, as I mentioned, you do have a contribution to absolutely amazing ebooks. You are one of the writers of Murder in Key West. Tell me about this book. Right. A Murder in Key West is really a compilation of short stories, uh, each one written by an individual uh, Key West crime fiction writer. Uh, my contribution is a story called Block, but there are uh, numerous other writers in there, each of whom have written a story by themselves. And uh, the end result is Murder in Key West. And mm -hmm. I understand it's doing pretty well right now. It's available on Amazon Kindle. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cheryl's done a great job with publishing it. Well, there are so many writers involved in the book, so uh, many wonderful yeah. writers. So I can see why it's having success. Yeah, Jonathan Woods is in the book, and uh, Jessica Argyle, and uh, you know, many others. Uh, I strongly recommend uh, to uh, people, if they like good crime fiction, to go out and get themselves a copy. Now, Mike taking place right now in Key West is Mystery Fest. And actually next week we're going to be talking with the winner of the Mystery Fest short story contest. And I understand that you are one of the judges of this contest. So as a judge, like, what do you look for? What would you say makes a good mystery, Mike? Well, this, with this particular contest, uh, mm -hmm. Jenna, the, uh, it was a, a little bit different. Uh, the, the Jonathan Woods, a local uh, crime fiction writer, wrote the beginning to the story and, and he uh, wrote the first few paragraphs, and all the contestants after that had to take those first few paragraphs and run with it and make their own story out of it. Mm -hmm. And it went in all kinds of wildly different directions, uh, th directions that I would never have imagined, <laughs> but very, some of them very, very original. Mm -hmm. uh, and just last night, I had to narrow down uh, to uh, two of what I thought were the best stories and two what I thought were the best endings. And I uh, emailed my results off to uh, uh, Kate Miano, who is the uh, chairman of this particular project. And I, but I, I will tell you, it was not easy. There were some very, very good stories in there. It was, and I really had to anguish picking out uh, the best ones. You know, it's, uh, they weren't really mysteries in the traditional sense. I, mm -hmm. I have to add that. Uh, Jonathan's introduction, or his first few paragraphs, were, were <laughs> unorthodox, to say the least. If you know Jonathan, he's a very unorthodox writer. And uh, this, th these first few paragraphs were very typical of, of him. And uh, so the writers that, who entered the contest had to be original. They, they couldn't uh, do a, a traditional mystery, which is sort of a puzzle that has to be solved. Uh, uh, what used to be called mystery writing is now, they still sort of call it mystery writing, but it's really more crime fiction and uh, uh, is, is the term they use now because it's no longer so much uh, solving a mystery, you know, with the, the detective gathering all the suspects in a room and, you know, going over the whole thing, but rather uh, talking about not, not so much who done it, but why they done it, you mm -hmm. know, or, or what happens after they done it, mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, before they done it, or whatever. But it's all, it's all more about the human side of it. And mm -hmm. the, this, uh, these short stories that, uh, that I was looked at uh, over the last few days uh, were um, uh, all kinds of very different approaches to writing what we used to call mysteries. And uh, there's, some of them were very, very good. And I'm looking for some of these writers to do some good things in the future. Great. I really am looking forward to yeah. talking with the winner and everything. Now, you were talking kind of about how mystery writing has really evolved. Do you like the changes and I the do. direction? Oh, yes, yes, very much. Because it used to be, uh, like I said, uh, the uh, mysteries were basically who done it? You know, mm -hmm. you solved the puzzle, and there you are. And so the writers just had to come up with more and more clever ways to to devise a who done it. Locked room mysteries, they used to call them, and uh, you know all this kind of thing. And so to to to, and they would drop clues along the way, and uh, you know the reader would try to guess, and that was the whole idea of mysteries. Mm -hmm. Well, now, uh, I mean, I've never written any kind of anything like that. Uh, my books are are more. With the central characters are all criminals. And so you see it from their point of points of view, uh, and the, it's I believe that that uh, uh, any human being, if pushed hard enough, will cross the line. You, me, any of the people out there 
we'll cross the line if we're pushed hard enough. So uh, I think this is part of the human condition. So this is what I write about, is ordinary people who, who get more or less backed into a corner to where they have to do these, perhaps commit crimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, rather than trying to solve the mystery, I write about it from the human side of view, of the human side of the, of the equation. And I love your writing style, Mike. Well, thank you. It, it's thank you amazing. Very much. Speaking of your books, what are you working on right now? Right now, I'm working on the fourth installment of uh, uh, what I call my Key West Nocturnes series, mm -hmm. uh, a group of novels uh, from the crime or noir fiction uh, genre, uh, in which uh, the, these deeper human elements are, are explored, like I was talking about, rather than just the solution to a crime. Uh, and the fourth one on, that I'm working on right now is called The Guns of Miami. Mm -hmm. And I'm about half to two-thirds of the way through. Mm -hmm. And I hope to get it out sometime later this year. Mm -hmm. uh, the first three books uh, were, they were called Set Up on Front Street, The Ghosts of Havana, and a Manslaughter, in that order. Although, each book is a standalone, and you don't have to read them in that order. They're not, it's not a continuing story arc. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're individual individual stories all by themselves with individual central characters. Some of the secondary characters and some of the locales do recur in each book mm -hmm. to give a sense of continuity, along with Key West, which is the, a big character in each of the books. Mm -hmm. But uh, The Guns of Miami is the one that I'm working on right now, and I'm, I'm very excited about it and hope to have it finished by the end of the year. Well, wonderful. I can't wait to read it. And right. another wonderful summer read would be any of Mike's books. As he mentioned, he's got three already out that are still available for purchase. Mike, thank you so much for being on this morning. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Jenna. It's been uh, very, very exciting. All right. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.